In this video, we go over five great pieces of gear under $2,500 for DJs and producers. Find out which ones those are coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV, where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So the first piece of gear we have is the industry standard. This is the Pioneer DJ CDJ2000 Nexus 2 Professional Multiplayer. Now this has been the standard in the club for a little while now, and its predecessor, to the 2000 Nexus, has been in the club for a lot longer than that. And I can say from playing on both players multiple times, I've played on the 2000 Nexus for years at this point, that these things are built so rock solid, and overall they have great performance and they are the industry standard for a reason. Record box has become a standard for a lot of DJs and has helped a lot of DJs move away from now it seems so archaic to say but actually using cds and putting all their media on flash drives and just from being uh, an actual software for music organization to all the way becoming a full-fledged professional you know performance dj software record box has really evolved and become an essential part of a lot of djs workflows and this is the top of the line tool to use with record box now the nexus 2 has the touch screen with the qwerty keyboard to search which is the first that we saw on you know the actual pro level industry clubs install standard uh, type gear from Pioneer. And that's a game changer for me, especially because of the way that I organize my music and having to kind of change my organization method when I want to play on Rekordbox and having different kinds of crates and having you know my music organized differently. Even though I've had to make those small changes Adding the ability to use a QWERTY keyboard speeds up my process of looking for music even more. And I'm the kind of DJ that uses a really big flash drive to carry a lot of music that's broken down into many different crates, but I still keep some real general crates. So if I want to use that QWERTY keyboard, I can still find that song pretty quickly and just load it up and get going. Now this player really hasn't come down in price much since it came out and that's usually what happens with Pioneer's top of the line stuff, it usually doesn't drop in price. But still, to have the industry standard for under $2,500 in your home is a great investment if you play out a lot. Getting used to the layout of this thing and really getting to know this piece of hardware and knowing all the nuances and all the settings and becoming really familiar with how to use this at its you know top level is a real game changer if you really want to be one of those you know club DJs that are in the club weekend in and weekend out. And to go along with the CDJ2000 Nexus 2, this is the Pioneer DJ DJM900 Nexus 2 Professional Mixer. Now this is the successor to the 900 Nexus which has been the club standard for years now. The mixer isn't any different um, you know from the CDJs since they moved to the Nexus 2 they had to come out with the Nexus 2 mixer as well I really like this mixer a lot it really improves some of my major gripes with the original Nexus 2 number one being the crossfader they actually put the Magvel crossfader in here which is really close to what's in the S9 so this thing will cut really well and you'll be able to you know perform a lot of nice crisp cuts on this thing and it's gonna last as well and the second thing that I really had an issue with was the actual, you know, touch strip for the effects. Before it was just like this one strip that didn't really have any connotation of where you were as far as like timing in the effects. But with this new one that has like the separated little buttons so you know that you're hitting a quarter beat effect or a half beat effect or a two beat effect. And they also added something that's really useful, especially for the way that I use the beat effects with the DJM. They have the frequency kill, so you can, you know, I like using the echo out, so I can actually cut off the lows and not have the lows be included with that echo out as well. So I don't have to worry about, you know, cutting the bass all the way or, you know, making those small tweaks ju just to make sure that my echo out doesn't have that nasty, like, gurgling sound from the low end. It's just, you know, one click of a button. I don't have to worry about it. I can just get on with the rest of my DJ set and I can leave it set like that for the rest of my set. Another cool addition with this mixer, of course, is the fact that it has two USBs. You know, uh, having Serato DJ compatibility built in where you just, if you buy the club kit, you can just plug in. You don't have to worry about plugging into a box or anything like that. You can plug directly into the mixer. Now having two USBs makes switching over DJs that much simpler as well. And if we're going to mention the club standard Pioneer setup, I have to throw in the Denon DJ SC5000 Prime Media Player as well. 
I actually think this player has way more potential f as far as the media player going forward in the future. Now the Denon uh, Prime software has some you know ways to go, but as far as the actual media player and the features that this thing has, it's crazy. I've actually finally gotten the chance to mess around with this for a little bit and see how it really feels and how it really plays. I love this thing. I really hope that Denon can do a really good job of getting more people on board with these media players compared to the CDJs. And especially with Nam just passing, we didn't see you know Pioneer really come out with something new, something to challenge everything that's been included in this SC5000 from the more you know advanced touchscreen to the you know different pads at the bottom to just the overall feel of this piece of hardware just feels way more modern and way more feature rich so if you're looking for something a little bit more future proof and you're looking for a media player i would say buy this one instead of the pioneer cdj one thing i don't think i feature enough are monitor speakers so here is a set of qsc k12s with stands cables bags and a little mixer to go along with it as well this is a full setup all you would need is to plug your dj setup into this and you're good to go and if you've ever heard a qsc system you know you're getting what you pay for this system always sounds good i've really you know never heard a bad set of qscs these are some of the best sounding pa speakers you can buy i love these things if i had the money to invest and i really was doing way more mobiles I would definitely invest in some QSCs. They're built great, they sound great, they last a long time. And still, even though this is a little bit over $2,500, it's well worth the money. And finally, for the producers out there, we have the Arturia Matrix Brute Analog Monophonic Synthesizer. This is a beast of an analog synth. There's so much going on with this synthesizer and so many possibilities with this synthesizer. I love the fact that Arturia went from their super small micro brute, mini brute, and really expanded it out and gave the pro level version of what those little analog synths could do. As far as analog synthesizers go, this really feels like a smaller one piece version of an actual modular synthesizer. So if you want something that has pretty much infinite tweaking capability, and you want something that's going to give you some really fat, nasty sounding sounds, this Matrix Brute is really hard to beat. So that's a look at five great pieces of gear under $2,500 for DJs and producers. If you're interested in purchasing any of those, links can be found down below in the description. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click right here to subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go ahead and click on that video right there. And thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.